Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Farwa and you're watching Ninja Iraqi Dinar News YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. Today, we have some exciting news about the anticipated opening rates for the Vietnamese Dong and the Iraqi Dinar. According to Ray, the Vietnamese Dong is expected to start at 347 and the Iraqi Dinar at 381. However, it's important to note that we won't know the actual current rate until the day we go to exchange. It's a waiting game, folks. Moving on, there have been a lot of discussions lately about Article 140, HCL Hydrocarbon Law, Oil and Gas RV Readiness. Many people believe that once these pass, we will see an increase in the exchange rate. But let me tell you, that's not entirely accurate. People tend to believe that every time a significant milestone is achieved, the RV revaluation is bound to happen. They say things like, once the HCL and oil and gas law passes, then we'll see a higher exchange rate, or they can't move forward without a higher exchange rate. But let me tell you, these are just lies. Inflation in Iraq is artificial inflation. If we look back at the history, how many customers did Iraq have when their currency was valued at $3.22? Not as many as they have today. Iraq has more customers, more production, and a bigger reserve than ever before. Their inflation is not market-bearing inflation. It's artificial. They are sitting on a gold mine. Remember, Iraq is an importing country, unlike Vietnam, which is exporting. They have room for the Iraqi dinar to grow. This will allow them to bring in goods from around the world for the Iraqi people. There's only one thing left on the central bank of Iraq's and Sudanese part of the monetary reform, bringing out the new exchange rate and the new national currency that belongs to the Iraqi citizens and their future. That's the one thing that's left. The reinstatement is a multi-step process. First, a new in-country rate of about 1.1, then the swap out, and finally, a move to Forex foreign exchange market. It is this move to Forex that we all want to see, and I cannot emphasize this enough. There will never be two rates. Once the reinstatement occurs, the program rate stuff goes away. The CBI will also link to and reference the Forex rate. So, let's remain patient and keep an eye on all these developments. Stay tuned for more updates regarding the Iraqi dinar revaluation.